like this. I'll just change my top and, um, and then we'll get going. No, no, you can't go to work in this state. Look, you're having migraines all the time. You're not eating, you're hardly sleeping. And then when you are, you're having nightmares. Gary, good to see you, man. How you doing? Cool, mate. Yeah, you? Been better. Look, um, I might as well cut to the chase. Things have got from bad to worse in the gym. Oh, sure, he's gone a meal. It's no wonder you've been struggling, is it? Look, I'm back now. Ready to get stuck in? It's too late. We've had no choice but to call it a day. It's been taken over our hands. How do you mean? Bailey's around last week. Anything of any value has gone. All right, you two. Was your kiss me quick act? I left her at the chaos with my sugar false teeth. Yeah, you all right, Andy? Looking a bit peaky there. This is ridiculous. Just go home. You need to look after yourself, young Andy. See you in a bit. Please go home. I'll call the doctor. I don't bother. Doctor can't help me. Look at the baby stuff. No, no, not in here. It's not contraband, Leanne. No, it just feels weird, us being all happy and Michelle and Steve. Does anyone know why it happened? There's nothing wrong with the baby, as far as they know. Oh, well, nobody said anything to me. Uh, did Michelle do anything, you know, to bring on the labour? I hope you're not blaming her. No, 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 no. Of course I'm not, but just... Um, it could be genetic, couldn't it? You know, something passed on from the father. Well, just stop worrying, yeah? Nothing bad's gonna happen to this little fella. I've never been flashed up by a woman before. Well, you've led a very sheltered life. Are you sure you haven't got time for a quickie? Let's do a bit before Kevin and them not get back. Anyway, we don't want them to catch us out here, do we? Mm. You can't take the pace. That's what it is. <laughs> You're afraid that I'm going to knacker you out, leave you good for now. You got me. Look, if I'm not up to the job, Kevin will go wait. The mood he's in. Oh, go on, then. But you owe me one. Can I help you, Pat? Hey, Luke. Yeah, I could do with uh, picking up the invoice for the work you did on the van. You already paid, aren't you? Yeah, but I could do with the invoice just to keep me book straight, you know. Ah, oh, well, Kev does all that. I'm just a waste slave. OK. Oh, sorry, got to get it. <sighs> Webster's Autos. Oh, hello, mate. How are you? Have you come up with anything yet? The healthy kebab. That's the best thing we've caught with so far. He keeps knocking back my ideas. Mm, welcome to my world. So is he still the, in the doghouse, then? It's as we're not talking about that. Sorry. You've been doing work stuff all weekend. Mm. Let you take the night off. It's grab a granny night down at the Ritz. I'm just saying. Sounds right up your street. All I want to do when I finish work is relax, take it easy. Rita's got more life in her than you have. Uh, me and Sinead like our own comforts, don't we? Not wrong with that. All right, lads. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Pat wanted an invoice for his van, Kev. I can see that you're busy, so I'll just get a bit of head of paper and type it up myself. Eh? I'll stick it through your letterbox tomorrow. Oh! What the hell? Sorry, lads. Oh, it's all right. Screen's not cracked or anything. 
Talk about dumb and dumber. Give it here. I've got a mate who's a whiz with these. I can get him to have a look at it if you like. Oh, forget it. No harm done. Get out my face, feeling. Every time I turn around, you're there. Olivia, Kev, get used to it. Don't start getting gobby with me. Just leave it, eh? Look, you might be able to fill this bunch of idiots, but you can't fill me. I know you're a nasty piece of work. Not this again. Give us a break, Kev. Don't make me tell you again. Talk about ungrateful, eh? Wasn't that long ago I was a knight in shining armour to the lovely Anna? You're not even fit to speak her name. Spoke to Sophie earlier on. She's feeling much better. Oh, good. Oh, it's a weight off my mind knowing she's on the mend. You know, we should start thinking about going on holiday. The Cheshire set, they like to go cruising. Apparently, you can have your own butler 24-7. Wow. On who? Must be a robot butler. What? Well, if has to wait on you 24-7, it must be a robot because a human would keel over. Are you being deliberately obtuse? I might be, if I knew what it meant. No, I can't see me on a ship all cooped up. As soon as it sets sail, I'll be like, man, the lifeboats, I'm out of here. Oh, do you know, you never share my vision. You're always poking fun. You are bothered when you get mad at me. Sorry. Can I make it up to you? Well, you know me. I'm not one to bear a grudge. <laughs> Hey, you're back early. What are you doing here? Came to see you. Haven't been yourself, have you, lad? Sorry I never brought any grapes. You're not supposed to just let yourself in. Well, I'm not supposed to do a lot of things. Don't even think about that. What? What do you want? A cup of tea would be nice. I also need you to do me a favour. <laughs> I've already done what you wanted. We quits. I'll be the judge of that. I decide when you've paid your dues. You could blackmail me forever. There's nothing to stop you. No. You do this one last little thing for me, and you're free as a bird. Scout's honor. I can't. It's nothing too complicated. In fact, a trained monkey could do it. I'd appreciate it if you would burn down Kev's garage. Completely insane, and I'm not doing it. You're still not getting it, lad. I'm not asking. I'm telling. You've been a very, very bad lad. I mean, I could give the police chapter and verse. You tell them about me. You drop yourself in it as well. Listen, I'm not sitting here arguing the toss. You do as I say, you're off the hook. Come on, Andy, this is your way out. You do this one last little thing. Why have you still got it in for Kevin? I don't like the way he talks to me. Oh! I was talking to Steph earlier. Oh, not this again, please. You lay one finger on her, yeah, I swear! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, are we on, or what? All right. Oh, hiya. I wanted to say thank you. What for? That idea that you had for the kebab shop, I'm using it as inspiration for my MA application. Really? When did you see that? Took a sneak peek when you were in the Rovers. I hope you don't mind. Actually, I'm dead chuffed. Shazzy reckons all my ideas are weird. No, no, they're not. They're brilliant. And I think you're brilliant, and all. Oh, thanks. You're sweet. <sighs> Girls, women. How we say that about me? Sweet. Like, little baby deer or little kitten. <laughs> Don't be sniffy about sweet. Sweet's good. It's a bit cold out here. Do you fancy a drink? How 
why don't you have a shower? Come down for a bit. It might make you feel better. Look, I know things are really awful at the moment, but we'll get through this, babe. Sorry. Darling, your mum's on the phone. Oh, I can't. OK. I'll tell you you'll call back when you can. Watching the world go by. I can't imagine being a part of that world ever again. I don't want to live a life without Rory in it. I want my boy. I want my boy. Sorry, just trying to throw an Andy. No reply. I've never seen him in such a state. Look, if you two want to take some time off, I can always get covered. Mm, I don't know. What, well, didn't you say your friend Katie had phoned? Why don't you go out and see her? Yeah, actually, she phones to tell me there's some jobs going in her boyfriend's bar. Well, I'm not saying stay out there, obviously, but... Maybe Andy needs a break. Uh, that's 9.70, please. Uh, we don't usually see you in here. Ah, just wanted a better piece, quiet pipe, no shop talk. Mm, don't get any of that from me. I've got no steering rack from me. Big end. <laughs> Please let me get that for you, Kev. No, you're all right, thanks. Come on, we had words before. I just don't want to leave things on a sour note. Just leave me be, OK? Keep the change, Steph. As charming as ever, eh, Steph? Mm, tell me about it. Well, it's nice to see a friendly face. Well, thank you. And I feel like... Pushing the boat out tonight. So I will have a glass of your very best brandy. That one on the top there, please, for me. Sorry, state of affairs, if you can't treat yourself once in a while, eh? There you go. Cheers. What are you drinking? Lager with maraschino cherries. I love a bit sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll get your laughing gear around them. Nice bag of pork scratchings. Keep your strength up in case we do it again. When have you ever known me to eat those revolting things? More nutrition and a flip flop. You know what? You're the best bird that I've ever had. Really? Yeah, really. That's good about me. Well, when we fall out, we have words. We always make up with a bit of how's your father. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Tim, that is just not true. The way you're describing us, we're no better than farmyard animals. Oh, I see what you're doing there. You're trying to start an argument, aren't you? Well, at least let me get my bite in a minute first. I am not trying to start an argument. Yeah, you are. Oh, for goodness sake. Mm. Hey, uh... I thought it was you. You must be freezing, get in. Uh, well, I would, but I'm practically home now, so... What have you been up to? Uh, nothing much. Just doing hair and makeup for a girl from school. Mm, let's have a look. Really? Yeah. Ah, you're pretty good. Reckon you could take that up professionally. Uh, no, I'm not trained or anything. Well, you clearly got a gift for it. You can make a few quid from online tutorials. No, I, I wouldn't know where to start. And anyway, even if I was good enough, I don't have the money to set anything up. You wouldn't need much. A decent camera, you'd be good to go. How much does a decent camera cost? Do you know what? I think I've got one at home. Right, OK. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Thanks. Good. You better get home. Get some beauty sleep. Uh, not that you need it. Hmm, cheesy or what? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. What's the state of him? How many is he on? Three pints and a double whiskey. And the rest? No, that's all I've served him. Robert, maybe you could do with a coffee or a glass of water. More beer. I think you've had enough, Kev. Time for your bed, mate. I'll see you home safe. Oh, thanks, Pat. You're a star. 
Come on, Kev. Show me the way to go home. You remember how to do it, don't you? One foot in front of the other. Come on. I said more beer. Maybe just a glass of water, Steph, please. Someone's full of the joys. Yeah, he's going to regret that in the morning. Can you see Michelle? I can't stop thinking about her. Don't suppose she's up for visitors, though. She took her out of the boat? Only I thought well, she was looking forward to meeting him, that sort of thing. Right. Did she say, that, you know, there was anything wrong medically? Nick! No, she didn't. To be honest, it feels wrong gossiping about it. Sure you don't want to come to town with us tonight? No, I got to watch the pennies now, I? Until I find a job. I'll be seeing Sarah. Only from a distance. Well, what good's that gonna do you? Talk to us, sort it out. <laughs> oh, we're going into town tonight. Come if you like. Oh, uh Yeah, I'd, I'd love to, but I just remembered I've left the chip pan on. Now, that's the beauty of the system, Tyra. Look, you could break wind on Viaduct Street, and the garage CCTV would pick it up. I won't like that, you know. The boss spying on me. If I had a boss. Yeah, that's made me a bit self-conscious, actually. I mean, I had a wedgie before, right? But I felt really funny about fiddling with my undies. <coughs> um, Luke, uh, sorry, can, can I have a word, please? Someone's in the doghouse. Oh, Want to be on the wrong side of her? <laughs> Did he just say CCTV? Yeah. In the garage? Yeah. In the garage where I flashed at you? I'm pretty sure you had your back to the camera. No one would have seen anything. Yeah, well, pretty sure doesn't really cut it. I don't want Kevin Webster copying an eyeful of me in my knickers and bra. And more than that, I have no desire to become a YouTube star. You know, a load of sweaty, hairy-palmed adolescents all perving over me. Look, we've got to get to the garage and we've got to delete that footage ASAP. <sighs> oh, love. You're wandering around like a lost soul. I don't really know what to do with myself. Things will get better. Give it time. I know it sounds like nothing but empty words, but it's true, I promise you. Maybe you could have a word with Michelle. You know, you might be able to get through to her. Oh, I'd feel like I'd be imposing. No, no, I'm just thinking, you know, because you've been there, you know, she might understand a bit better. Well, she does know all about Katie. When she wants to talk, I'll be there for her. You all right, Steve? Uh, he's at a bit of a loose end, aren't you? Uh, uh. Ah. Why don't you go through to the back and have a drink with Sally and Tim? Well, we wouldn't want to intrude. Oh, no. He'd be glad of the company, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. oh. To be honest, I think a bit of a distraction would do him good. You go through and I'll fetch you a nice bottle of wine. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Kev. I can't go on like this. And it'll kill me. You know what you need? It's a big greasy kebab. I hate you. Yeah, feelings mutual, mate. Come on, let's get you in here. Go and lie down. <laughs> Keys. Got it? All right. All right. Come on, mate. Ah, nearly there. There you go. Ah. Slide yourself in there. Oh. I night, like Kev. Sweet dreams. Here you go. Get on with it. Don't mess it up, or else. We won't stay long. Do you think you mix white wine with red wine to make rosé? Oh, do the egg. What you like? No, if they want to make red wine, the uh, keep the grape skins in for longer. 
Oh, so they take them out sooner then to make a rosé? Yes. Oh. The brewery sent me on a call. I think in Italy they call it risotto. Risotto. I'd like to learn Italiano or French, the language of love. I don't mean to brag, but I can speak about 30 different languages. German, beer, French beer. Italian, beer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got this. Uh, no way. No, I'm not taking any chances. I want to see you delete it. Where's the camera? Well, I wish you'd go. What if they want to see you? Do I look like I'm bothered? Well, Kev's gonna set the roses on you. Take no prisoners, that man. Oh, so what if I'm caught? I'm with you. It's... It's not like I'm sneaking around the place, getting up to no good. Coronation Street is back in half an hour. I should have kept a copy. I look totally hot. Mm. Come on, lad. You're wasting good drinking time. He loves this place so much, can't drag himself away. Yeah, not the truth. What are you doing in there? Won't be a sec. Just uh, need to find my phone. Ah. Oh. Tracy, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, just hanging out. Oh. See you, Luke. See ya. Oh, I was here. Definitely heard a noise. <gasps> Not a sponge, please. Oh. You're joking. Oh, it's Kevin. What is he doing in there? Do that attack. Ooh. Ooh. Stinks of booze. Oh, we can't leave him here. It's bitter. He might die of hypothermia. Hey. Come on, mate. Huh? Come Look on. Get off. Leave me alone. You need to go home, mate. Don't well, tell me what I need. I'm the gaffer. Oh, leave him be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, do one. Don't need any here. All right. Well, if that's how you feel, you can be on your own. Let's go get a cab. No idea how you get over such a terrible thing. No, people do, though, don't they, eventually? I mean, something like that puts our petty problems into perspective. Although I can't stop thinking about what you said before. What about where the county's stunning triumph over FC United? You said we never talk. I didn't say that. We're talking now, aren't we? Well, you said that we only ever deal with issues in a physical way. I don't know why you're fretting. That's a good thing. Well, communication is the key to a healthy marriage, Tim. I mean, we should be able to discuss anything. I want us to have a meeting of minds. I think we should both go away, come up with five topics of conversation, come back together, sit down and put the world to rights. You don't want to gush, but then again, you don't want to risk sounding trite. Whatever you've written. I'm sure they'll appreciate the gesture. Thanks, Brian. Just sign my name in the end, three kisses. But then I thought, are kisses appropriate? I mean, probably not. Oh, from Brian. Oh, uh, uh, Eileen's been on the phone. She can't find the documents for one of the cars. Well, I'm sure it can wait. Well, this is the thing. Omar's been pulled over. Oh. Eating a meat and potato pie whilst driving. Got to produce his documents at the station first thing in the morning. That Omar is a liability. Yeah, well, you can so about go over there and sort it out. Just don't want to leave his shoulder. She's still in bed. <sighs> you know, it might do you good to get out for a bit, even if it is to that flea-bitten office of yours. Yeah, I'll just go and check on myself first.
general warming. Well, it's not very sexy, is it, subject-wise? Well, it's one of the greatest threats to our planet. The climate's changing, and scientists agree that it's down to humans, you know, car emissions and such like. Well, we do our fair share, don't we? Car emissions. But with me owning half a cab company that you actually bought for me against me will. Yeah, but you provide a valuable service to the community. I'm talking about people's personal responsibilities. Uh, no way am I giving up my van self. No way. Well, we all have to be a little less selfish, Tim. You hate public transport. You can't stand being shoehorned in with a great unwashed. The last time you took a bus to town, that massive bloke came and sat next to you. Statuesque, don't be sizes. You said that he necked two bottles of cherry aid and a family sized packet of cheese and onion crisps. Should we move on? And belched in your face all the way on from whom? This is pointless. Yeah, I agree. No, I don't, I disagree. Let's go upstairs and work out our differences in the bedroom like we normally do. Well, you know me, Tim, I don't give up that easily. I am determined to make this work. I tried a carrot, now I'm gonna have a go at a stick and I'm imposing a sex ban. Oh, that's brutal, that is. The ban will be lifted when we can have a proper grown-up conversation. But until then... Come here. Mm. Oh. I know it's a daft question, but how are you? Mm -hmm. Sad. Wanna talk about it? Mm, not right now, Tur. OK. It might be wrong, but I just want to pack it up for a while, you know. Mm. Mm. Phew, flipping Omar, eh? What's he like? A slob. Yeah, a greedy slob. Juggling pies whilst driving. Tell you what, put the kettle on. I might even break out the best biscuits. Oh, now, see, I knew you had a secret stash. Aha! Uh -huh. Get this. Viennese whirls. See, you can't beat the simplicity of the world. Do you want to know a secret? Yeah, go on then. I'm getting married. You? No way, you two. What do you mean, you two? I'll just pick a man at random from my long list of admirers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> congratulations oh, to you. Thank you. <laughs> and commiserations to Pat. There you go. Listen, Steph, uh, it's fairly quiet here. You can head home if you like. Are you sure? Do you not mind? Yeah, check up on Andy. I know you're worried about him. Yeah, he didn't look that clever this morning. Maybe he just needs to sleep it off. Everybody out of the garage is on fire. What? Everyone needs to get out now. Right, Steph, you get the customers out. I'll take the kitchen staff out the back. Hi, I'm really sorry. There's been a fire. Just leave everything as it is. Okay, do you want your coat? No, you okay? Okay. Come on, let's keep on distance. Oh, they're on the way. Why the state of the place? It's fucking no one's inside. No way. What happened? Kev, how'd it happen? I don't know. Listen, you was really drunk. You didn't go back in there for anything, did you? Anna, come on, let's get you inside. Rag roll in the kitchenette. Discarded turpy rag cost nigh on 300 power for damage. What if it spreads? One stray spark on Hall Street could be like a tower in Inferno. Oh, I didn't come to that. What if Underworld went up? Nylon, polyester, kindling by any other name. Last. The cavalry's coming. Nothing enough for that. It'll be too late to save anything. There's gonna be nothing left. Hey, love. 
You OK? Yeah, I don't, I don't want anyone to see me. I hate to hear them sirens before. I don't know what's kicking off now. <laughs> you OK? Shall I make you something to eat? No, thanks. Where's Steve? He just had to nip out for a few minutes. Look this time, where's he gone? Streetcars. He's gone to work. I think it were an emergency. He didn't want to leave here. Uh, he did check you were asleep first. Yeah, I bet he did. Hi, love. You need to get back here as fast as you can. Well, thanks for texting me. You should have seen the state she was in. This just brought it back to her. Right, Anna, I've done you a chamomile one because it's meant to be good for your nerves. It's late, Mum. You should get some rest. No, I can't. Not until Kevin's home safe. He's not going to go near the fire. He knows better than that. I'll tell you what, this has taken me right back. This has my heart still pounding. It feels like it's fit to burst. Where's my dad? I want my dad. Oh, sweetheart. Come on, let's get you back to that nice, cosy bed, eh? Do you want me to take him? No, no, no. You're all right. It'll do me good to keep busy. Let me know, though, won't you, as soon as Kevin gets through the door? Of course, yeah. Come on, darling. Hey. No, I can't bear to see it like this. It's like time stood still for her. I hate your brother. I hate what he's done to her. Hey, Steve. All right. Quite a night. Kevin's garage caught fire. Yeah, well, Norm's it. Hey, uh, hey you got me, Nick? Not really, Nick. <laughs> Mate, it's important. Look, um... First of all, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, everyone is. Uh, now, uh, this might seem harsh, but is there anything me and Leanne need to know? About what? About the baby. <sighs> I wouldn't ask if it wasn't completely necessary. But I've got to look after my family, you know. Yeah. yeah if they got any idea why he didn't make it. But if there's a child that might have... Yeah. What just happened? The garage caught fire. What? I know, you should have seen it. But, but nobody was hurt, right? No, thankfully. It, this, the smoke just sticks to everything. Yeah, well, it'll be all over your clothes and your hair. Why don't you then go and have a shower? Yeah, in a minute. Oh, well, there's just no point putting it in there. It's not working. What's this? Nothing. Please don't look at me like that, Steph. Feeling's been blackmailing me. I didn't have any choice. Huh. There you are. I thought you'd be in the bedroom. I was worried. Your mum said you went to work. Yeah, yeah, just for a while. I just want a bit of normality, you know. Normality? Yeah, you know, sitting around talking about nothing. It would be normal for me. Feeding my baby. Bathing him. Singing him to sleep. <sighs> you hurt your hand. No. Oh, um, uh, well, a bit. How'd you do that? I, um, I tripped over, uh, banged it. Right into Nick's face. What do you aim for? He was, um, banging on at the delivery service. What? 
Well, I told him now wasn't the time. Uh, go and ask Tim, but he wouldn't leave We it. have just lost our son. Our baby boy is gone. It's gone, and you're laughing and drinking with Sally and Tim. Brawling in the streets, going to work so you can feel normal. Look, it's not like that. Don't was... bring anyone back here again. I don't want to see anyone. I don't care about anything. I just want my son. I just want my boy. Now get off me, Steve. <laughs> Michelle, look, will you stop treating me like I've done something <laughs> terrible? It's not like I've been partying. I want you out. <laughs> what? You know what? No. No, why should I? You're not the only one that's suffering. Rory was my son too. And if you're happy just to lock happy. yourself up with... Look, listen, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I'm not just going to roll over. I'm not just going to dwell in self-pity. I can't stop the sight of you. Just go before I say something I regret. <laughs> what? You're the reason that feeling was in the hospital? I knew he'd hurt Michael. I couldn't help myself. I, I just lost it. He knew it was you? Yeah. And he said he'd call the police unless I paid him off. That is why I took the tablets from the bistro. No. I wanted to make it look like a break-in, but I didn't get the chance. You stood by and watched me take the blame! And it's been tearing me apart ever since. You sold the tablets, paid feeling off... Yeah, that's just the beginning. He's been blackmailing me ever since. He's got me to do other stuff as well. Other stuff? He made me take Kevin's new breakdown truck and sell it on. <gasps> no, I can't get my head around all of this. Y you are not the man I thought you were. <laughs> no, no, I'm not a bad person, Steph. You have to believe me. Feeling's a psycho, and if someone doesn't stop him, he's just going to keep on hurting people and ruining lives. That's why I tried to get rid of him for good. When you whacked him over the head, you... you were actually trying to kill him. No, it was after that in the hospital. I tried again. No, stop. No, I can't listen to any of this. He's been, he's been making threats against you as well. That day, he blagged his way in here to fix the radiators, yeah? He called me, saying... I don't want it to be an accident or anything. He was threatening you. I couldn't live with myself if he hurt you, Steph. Cor, hope you guys are insured. Are you taking them? No, I'm just saying. I hope you haven't lost everything. I thought you boys were out on a bender. Tyrone spilt some bloke's pint. He took a very dim view. We had to leg it. Excuse me, mate. Do you know how we started? Not yet. Too early to say. But don't worry. We'll definitely get to the bottom of it. Steve? Where are you going, mate? Charles kicked me out. No use to have let her down. Well, why don't you come and stay with us? Give her a bit of space. <laughs> Hello, Steph, love. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. No, you're not. Something's wrong, I can tell. Look at you, you're shaking, you're terrified. No, it's it's the fire and everything. It's just shut me up a bit. Come here. There you go. Is that better? I don't mind admitting I've got a bit of a soft spot for you. After all, it was you that saved me when that scumbag gave me a beating, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I just called the ambulance. I did what anyone would do. Right, I've got to go. It's not safe to walk the streets these days. Psychopaths hanging around. 
That's why I'm going to be keeping an eye on you and Andy from now on. You tell him I said that. You tell him Uncle Pat said he's going to be keeping his eye on you. Okay? I was going to hear about the gym. Have you thought about what you're going to do for work? Well, Hamburg's a decent city. I might just go back there and try and find something. Ah, sprechen Sie Deutsch. I'll just do what my dad does to get by and shout. Well, it'll work for me in Milan. Anyway, you can't go. Because your mum, she'll miss you, and... Faye, she'll miss you too. Well, Faye's getting older now. She won't need me as much. Mum's got Kevin. And since I lost you, it just... It feels like the soul's gone out of this place. Oh, my God, that's like poetry. But if you're gonna make fun of me... I'm not, honestly. I think it's... It's a really, really sweet thing to say. Do you mean it? Of course I do. I miss you too. Bethany's been pecking my head about you, saying that we should get back together. Really? Mm. Yeah, this last month or so. I honestly think she's turned a corner. She's much happier and she wants me to be happy too. Well, in that case... He was there. What? Feeling. He, he was there. He was outside. He's always going to be there. He just... He smiled. He, he kept smiling, but... I could see the evil in his eyes. Like, he, he said he'd be watching us. Wait, wait, wait. Did you know I told you everything? I don't know. D does it even matter? We just need to get away from him. How? There's a job in Portugal. Katie's boyfriend's bar. It's meant to be. What, you, you'd give up your job and move away from your friends and your family for me? Andy, we need to get away from here as soon as we can. It's our only way out. Corey continues on Wednesday. Next this Monday evening, it's time to check back in to the Halcyon Hotel. And part two of brand new series Islands of Australia continues tomorrow night at 8 as Martin Clunes explores the vibrant Tiwi Islands. China. Netherlands. Oh. Right, Rocky. <laughs> Been up to town all steps. Yeah, I did actually. Yeah? Wave your hands. Wave your head like that. I like that. I considered it. I never understood why you did that. Right, name the city. Oh, uh New York, Chicago. <laughs> Philadelphia full. City of brotherly love. Alright. See ya. See ya. There's no one in. What, the plan? I'll nip to a pet shop in precinct on my dinner, see if I can get some fish pellets. Have you heard this, Roy? She's got a new pet, a Venus flytrap. Uh, notoriously difficult to grow. You could have made that a lot easier for us. Two of his staff resigning on the same day, what do you expect? Morning. Oh, morning. How's Kevin? They failed him overnight, can you believe it? I mean, Jack's been crying his little heart out. Why has the police got me? Daddy, I don't know what to tell him. Even Tyrone thinks he's done it. Anyway, see you later. Bye. And what about the missing laptop? What about it? Oh, well, let's believe it contains CCTV footage of the garage. And lo and behold, it's gone. Maybe the person who burnt McGarry's down stole it. Have you considered that? Your keys were found at the scene. Someone took them. Have you never heard of theft? They should send you back to police school. A week ago, you made an inquiry about your insurance policy. 
I ordered a recovery truck, someone nicked it. Hacked into my email. Changed the delivery date, asked for it to be dropped off in the middle of nowhere. What, you think I'm behind that as well? How much had you had to drink the night of the fire? So am I going to flip? Oh, I know you're going to flip. What is it? Put it this way, it's something we can do together. Somewhere we can go together, it'll give us something to talk about. A bond, you're going to love it. And what, tell me more. Well, just meet me in the Rovers at lunchtime. I've got to pick them up this afternoon. Then. Hi, right, Steve. Huh? Oh, hi, Steve. Did you sleep all right? Yeah. Did you have enough pillows? Cos, well, Sophie likes three. I only like two. One for my head and one as a cuddler. Uh, no, I slept fine, thanks. <clears throat> what time are we getting dressed? Well, there's no rush. What about your hair? Oh, I'm going to one on Tile Street, booked in for 10 o'clock. I don't, I don't see why you've got to sneak off to Tile Street. It's not as if everyone's going to say, hmm, Eileen's had her hair done. Mm, tell you what, she must be getting married. Oh, well, why take the chance? <laughs> I feel bad discussing all this in front of you. Don't be daft, but do you want to see the photos? She can have you get ready. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm working. Hey, have you got you something borrowed? Not yet. What? We're just making conversation. Right then, campers, I'm popping off for a while. A couple of administrative matters to attend to. <laughs> I've got to go and um, see Michelle and Steve. Oh, I don't envy you that. It's been a grim few days, on it? Them two. I've seen Kevin's garage as well. Not that I'm comparing the two. Yeah, one's a tragedy. The other one is, well, mm. it's one of them things. But today, lest we forget, is a celebration. Hey. I'll drink to that. Hey. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> see you in a bit. Cheers. See you. Um, I just want to say how sorry I am about the fire. You must be gutted. No, I'm all right. It's that garage that's gutted. And my missus, she reckons we'll be back on the breadline again if this whole place goes under. You think Kevin did it? Why? Who do you think did it? No, um, I was just thinking, if Kevin did do it, then the insurance wouldn't pay out, would they? No. Pretty reckless of him. Uh, yeah. Unless he didn't do it. I mean, why burn down your own garage knowing full well they wouldn't pay out? Because he was slaughtered. Probably seemed like a good idea at the time. I heard he was asleep. Yeah, he was when I left him. But when I got back, he was staggering around like a baby giraffe full of ale. But if he was asleep the whole time, then he couldn't have done it, could he? In which case, you might just get your money. Thought I heard your voice. She you bothering you? No, no, that's all no. Never told me your sister were clever. Why well, what she said? Are they real though? I thought they was like mythical. What? Venus flytraps? Are you serious? Well, I don't know, do I? A plant what eats flies. It sounds like something out of a film to me. Craig kept putting his foot in it last night. Why? What did he say? No, he literally kept putting his foot in it. Well, his toe. Did it hurt? I don't think so. It's funny, though, seeing its jaws slam shut. It's got actual jaws. Mm, and spikes instead of teeth. She don't keep it in the bedroom, does she? I wouldn't go to sleep. No, it's in the front room. Can I see it? What? Go and get it, Chess. No, it's like a pride and joy. It's a plan! I know, but she would kill me. Are you a man or a mouse? <sighs> How have you been sleeping? <clears throat> Not great. Yeah. Lots of dreams. All variations on a theme. I'm sure. I was five years old last night. He's wearing a suit and a monocle and speaking really posh. <sighs> Michelle. I, I, I'd watched an episode of Family Guy before I went to bed. Just try and take my mind off things. Obviously, there was a bit of that in there, you know, the, the clever baby. Yeah. Yeah, I love family guy. So, um, where's Steve? He's not here. Well, that, that, that's all right, because um, I can just tell him everything we decide. Well, it, it, it might be better if you go through this together, and I'm, I'm sure he'd want to say. Oh, uh, I can pick all the music. I, I know what I want. I've, I've written everything down, so... OK. As long as you're sure and you, you think he'll be OK with it. Can I get you a drink? Um, no. No, I'm fine. Do 
Shall we start, then? Before it happened, he was dead to the world. In the back of a car, Sparkle. I could smell the ale on him. And you left him there? Well, I couldn't shift him. And I didn't see why I should. His missus has been through a tough time recently, and maybe he just didn't want to go home and face things. I don't know. He'd bitten off more than he could chew, building the new premises. He was angry, drunk, and put a match to it. Except when I saw him afterwards, he was in the exact same position, fast asleep. When I saw the fire, my first thought was Kevin. Talk but... about voter confidence. But he couldn't have got up from where I left him and then burnt down his own garage and then got back into that car. Why not? If he thought you might find him there. Well, I'm not being funny, but Kevin's not that clever. I think someone must have nicked his keys. Or... I mean, he's got a young lad. Why would he risk it? When I saw the fire, my first thought was Kevin. Yeah, but I don't think it was possible. And the laptop containing the CCTV footage? I don't suppose you know where that is? No, I don't. Well, thank you for your cooperation, Mr Dobbs. It's appreciated. sent a teddy, so I've asked for that to go in with him. Um, oh, and uh, there's a, a blanket I've been sleeping with. It's only small, but he'll be able to smell me on it. And um, a nice hanky that was my great Granny Connors. I hope it's clean. <laughs> yeah, it's clean. Now, you, um, you said you got some music in mind? Yeah, um, I was thinking... Oh, sorry. Are you, uh... Where's Steve? <sighs> what do you think? He's a very lucky man. Oh, I got some buttonholes. White roses, fought gentleman. Oh, you didn't go to Tracy's? No, no, I went to uh, Lafferty's on Crimea Street. Am I right doing it on the sly? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, people make too much of a fuss. It's not about the cake, it's not about the guest list. I mean, who wants to sit on a top table with everybody staring? Hmm? Mm. Listening to people say how special you are. Is that what you would have wanted? Hmm? Gail, Eklin. As if I would have invited <laughs> Gail. <laughs> Sean's going to kill me, especially when he finds out that Billy was there. I'll tell you what, let him kick up a fuss, OK? Because this is your day. It is not Sean's, certainly not Gail's, and you, you know, you don't need the drama. Tell me honestly, Todd. Do you approve? Am I doing the right thing? You know he's not the guy I would have picked, all right? But he does love you, and I think he'll look after you. So do I. So, good luck, Mum. You've uh, waited a long time for this. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> And um, I am sorry for everything that I've put you through because I know I've been a terrible son. You're here now. That's all that matters. Unlike that other waster. Yeah, exactly. Mm. What music do you call this, then? Uh, this is... Uh... Donizetti, Lucia de Lammermoor, uh, Act Three, Il Dolce Suono, I believe. The Mad Scene. It's opera, based on a novel by Sir Walter Scott. Right. You big opera fan, Roy? Increasingly so. You? Take a guess. <laughs> <laughs> Since when? What can I get you? See the new love interest. He doesn't look like much, but he's a wild man in the sack. Uh, make us an Americano, try not to poison it. If I had some, I would. Oh. 
Shall we give it some kebab? I don't know. What do you think? Well, what's the worst that could happen? Do you reckon it'd eat it? Probably. Does it chew? I don't think so. Right, wait here. Mm. Uh, are you sure about this? Let's just see what it does. <laughs> it ate it! I can't believe it. Venus flytraps like kebab. <laughs> Do you want chilli sauce on that, love? <laughs> so what made you change your mind? What? Well, you thought I started the fire. Next thing you hear, you told the police I didn't. Yeah, but we're ever so grateful, aren't we, Kev? What, you think I lied for you? Lied? What? I lied for those girls in there. I lied for my family. But it's the truth. I lied to the insurance company and pays out so we can all put food on the table. So you still think I did it? Why would I burn down my own garage? Because you were drunk. You didn't care. You didn't think about the morning after. You certainly didn't think of me or how this might affect any of us, because you never do. What's our own after all these years? <laughs> you try standing on this doorstep. After all these years. Oh, yeah, he never burnt down that garage, just like he never slept with my wife. <laughs> that must be mad sticking up for you. Let's just hope we get away with it, eh? To drink? Uh, no thanks. Sir. One toasted tea cake. Bethany? Uh, nothing for me. Cheers. Do you know him? <laughs> Not really. So, you can take this with you. It's professional grade, you just need some good lights. Lights? Well, I've got a couple. In fact, you can use my salon if you like. As a studio. It's empty this afternoon. Do you fancy giving it a whirl? Really? Today? <laughs> Oi! Oi, wait! Wait! Wait, stop, stop. What? It was you, wasn't it? You nicked my wallet. I think you got me confused. No, I've not. What are you doing here? Look, I gave it your back and put it through your letterbox. Well, how do you know where I live? Well, I guess. No, you didn't. Ow. Your driving license. Oh. Well, thanks. Anyway, I was grateful. Anyway, it's been nice catching up. Wait. Is that all you're gonna say? Hey. How's it going? Oh, me? I'm terrific. Hey, they let Kevin out? Yeah, he's sleeping it off. So what's the deal? Couldn't find enough evidence. We just installed CCTV and all. Well, why can't they look at that? Or, or did it burn? No, it went missing. Uh, what, what have the insurance company said? Not even spoke to them yet. Still in the hands of the police. Anyway, what's it to you? Oh, just being neighbourly. <laughs> neighbourly or nosy? Sorry. I'll, um, I'll let you get on. All right, you can open them now. Is it tickets for the theatre? No, but close. Season tickets for the opera? Even closer. They're season tickets, all right, for Weatherfield County. What? I had to get mine shifted from the south stand to the west stand because I didn't think you'd like all the bad language. And yours is restricted view, but it's only the corner, so you'll never miss a goal. Is this a joke? What? You know, Kevin tried this once, and I didn't fall for it then, and I'm not falling for it now. You're trying to drag me down there to justify your own childish obsession. When have I ever liked football, Tim? I hate football. How could you be so thoughtless? I said it should be something that we can enjoy doing together. We can. I've got needs, Tim, needs. Do you know, I wasn't surprised when Kevin pulled this stunt, but you, unbelievable. I'm going back to work. Mm. Right, Luke will be here any minute. Look, I'll, um, I'll meet you at the airport. What? Well, you go and see your mum and dad. Say goodbye from me. Why?
Seriously? Yeah, it might show Kevin asleep in that car. Uh, it might show you setting fire to the garage. You need to get rid of it, not troll through it to get Kevin off the hook. Yeah, you felt as bad as I did. They let him go! It's not over! The insurance hasn't paid out. They've got kids. Look, there must be some way I can get a screen grab or, or save a bit of footage on a USB stick. And do what with it? Send it to the police anonymously. Do you know what? It's your funeral. If you want to risk everything, be my guest. Oh, don't be like that. No, I am not the idiot that got us into this mess in the first place. I'll be there in plenty of time. Will you? Of course. Just let me put this right. Just, just don't be too long. I promise. Do you think it's dead? I don't know. Followed all the instructions. It was absolutely fine this morning. What's so funny? Nothing. Maybe something disagreed with it. Like what? Well, I don't know. A pizza kebab? <clears throat> what? You fed my Venus flytrap a pizza kebab? No, of course I didn't. Gemma did. <laughs> oh, come on, we were having a laugh. She said she'd never seen one before, so I took it to go and show her, and then she fed it a piece of kebab. Wait, you, you took my plant into the shop? You've heard her bring your daughter to work, there. Eh? Well? I can't believe you do that. Oh, I'll buy you another one. Chill. No! I will not chill. It was a gift, Chesney. It? it was mine. You had no right to do that. Hey, what's the matter? Where's all this coming from? You had no right. I just don't see what the big deal is. That's the problem. All right, well, I'm going to buy you a new one, even though I'm supposed to be at work. Have you not been listening at all? It's not about the plan. It's about us. Oh, what you got in here? Everything. Oh, except a flip flop, which had to go in Andy's. I'm glad it did. So where are you taking her? Tracy. Uh, well, I don't know. Just for a couple of days. So do you want to have a baby? Do I Go anywhere nice? She is. Portugal. Oh, nice. For how long? For good. You're kidding. Is this uh, you and Andy? Oh, don't worry. I've got rent covered. I'll get some new roomies. Where is, uh, where is Andy? Well, he's going to be uh, meeting her at the airport. She's going to say goodbye to the old folks first. Maybe it is. What's he doing up there? Nothing. OK, well, it's a safe journey. Steph, I wish you all the luck in the world. What's with all the evils? Let's just go. Did you even tell him that Billy were coming? There wasn't much to it. He's suffering as well, you know. He lost a baby too. Not like me. He didn't go through what I did. I caught him laughing the other day. Laughing. That's not a crime. Just pulling pints and throwing punches. It's like nothing happened. I, uh, I heard you saying what you wanted to put in the coffin earlier. Are you listening in? No, I wasn't listening in. But don't you think that Steve should have a say in that? Maybe there's something special that he'd like to put in there. He has been through this before, you know. So have I. I know. I'd be lying if I said this goes away. But Michelle, it does get easier, love. Say goodbye. I hear you're off to sunny Portugal. What's that? 
What? Is that me? No. Either you're my biggest fan or you've got some explaining to do. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. So what are we doing with Kev's laptop? I can explain. Your job was to burn down the garage. Shall I tell you why? To get rid of this. Why? Oh, I think you've got an inkling. So now you've burnt down the garage for no good reason. Stolen a man's computer, complete with CCTV footage of you committing said crimes, and me chit-chatting with the locals. The very reason I wanted this disposed of in the first place. So all in all, young Andy, I'm sure you can understand my not insignificant annoyance. Hey. And what are me and Todd discussing, I wonder? I've, I've not listened. I find that hard to believe. Is it about the flats? What makes you say that? Well, you've come out of it all pretty well. You're a lot like your dad, aren't you? Except he wasn't really your dad. He was a better man than you. Better man than me at ten a penny. What happened when he died? You know what happened? He broke into our office. Then he made his way outside where he expired. You were there, though, weren't you? You just stood there and watched. No, I wasn't there. Not at the end. I wanted to get back for last orders, which was a pity because I think I would have quite enjoyed that. Keep the laptop. <laughs> what have you got here? Oh, nice try. <laughs> Just like Mikey. You know, I could see the whites of his eyes. They were pleading with me. I've never seen anyone look so scared. With the possible exception of you. We never talk. We take each other for granted. Our relationship is absolutely fine. When was the last time you bought me a present? Oh, so it is about the plan. I gave up. When was the last time you bought me a present? Why should it only work one way? We did everything too fast. We, we rushed it. I, I should never have even moved in. Gemma's just a friend. <sighs> I'm not paranoid about Gemma. If you fancy Jamie over me, then good luck to you. I'm going back to work. We'll talk when I get home. Ooh, hang on. What about your lunch? Believe it or not, I've lost my appetite. Did you feel guilty? Completely. Yeah. Like I failed her. Like, I wasn't even strong enough to do the one thing that she needed me to do, which was bring her safely into the world. Same. She would have been 25 now. She was a New Year baby. Think about how much what she might have been like. Mm. Occasionally. I miss having her here. I miss Rory already. You were so lovely, Liz. You had the most perfect little face. I know he did. I just wish I could. <laughs> Turn the clock back. Just try harder to protect him. Do you know why I've let you off lightly this afternoon, Andy? Any idea? Because today is a very special day for me. Today is the day I get married. Yeah, I know. Come on, say it. What poor deluded fool would chain herself to him for the rest of her miserable life? I know, it's incredible. But she thinks I'm as good as gold. 
So I'd like my wedding day to go off without a hitch. I'd like to get hitched without a hitch. And I'm running out of time. So take that laptop, do with it as you wish. Break it, drown it, smash it, I don't care. Just get rid of that evidence, OK? OK. OK. Well, you're quite taken with there, aren't you? I saw some very interesting snaps of air a year or so ago. And there you are. Love's young dream. Oh, look who's here. Your late father, sort of. Look at him. The big dope. Mugging, playing for the camera. Little did he know he wasn't long for the... <laughs> stuff upstairs. I don't think I could take it. <laughs> and then I see Steve having a pint with his mates. <laughs> what should he be doing? Standing in the nursery crying. You need him now, Michelle, and he needs you. <gasps> If I hadn't have had Jim and the boys, I'm not sure I could have got through it. The nursery and the baby grows. All that fades. But it's the love that stays with you. And Steve's part of that. Like that. I told you you would. It was a little girl. Mm -hmm. I'll cry even more if you introduce me to your girlfriend. <laughs> that won't be happening. No? Mum and Dad, this is the 40 year old nutter I've been flinging around the bedroom. Mm. Hope she means more to you than that. Text him. <sighs> no. If he shows up, he shows up. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I'm going with or without him. Why won't you show up? Remember that story you were writing? How about the bad guy that gets his comeuppance? <laughs> I've just thought of a new ending. for all kinds of things. The uh, staff filmed some tanning do's and don'ts once and uh, some fake tan tutorials. How come you closed? We open and shut when I say so. And are you going to watch? <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. What are you best at? Um, French plats, probably, or Dutch. Mm, so do a French plat. I'll switch on the camera when you're ready. Take your coat off and uh, take your time. I've put stuff online before, but never anything like this. If you need to um, check your makeup or whatever, there's some mirrors over there. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, love. I wish you were here too, Jace. Sean. No, I'm going to tell him tomorrow, so don't put anything on Facebook, all right? Yeah, well, look, look after yourself. Love you. Bye, lovey. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, come off it, Mum. <laughs> hey! 
I'm entitled to feel emotional today of all days. Anyway, that is something blue sorted, the joke he's just told me. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> right, well, there's a vicar, a priest, and a rabbi. All right, me. Oh, yeah. Billy. Uh, Mum was just uh, telling a joke. What, a, a priest, a rabbi, and a what? Oh, a is this one about the parachute? You heard that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rabbi told us to be at a conference. Oh. Where's the groom? We're uh, waiting on him. Cutting it a bit fine. Oh, I packed at the house. He was, he was brushing his teeth, fully dressed shirt on, everything. Yeah, well, we're early, so, you know, it's fine. It's supposed to be the other way round. Well, chill out, all right. <sighs> Is that us next? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Shall I, shall I go out somewhere? Yeah, 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 go and have a candle. Yes. <sighs> You'll be here, all right? I know. <laughs> How come you're not at work? Ah, oh, wasn't feeling very well. She can manage on her own, anyway. Hmm. Have you taken anything? How long have you felt like this? A while. I thought everything was fine. I know you did. Is... is anybody in? The other day, I, I tried to come up with some ideas for you, for the shop, and you were so dismissive. Well, I won't be anymore. You, you never listened to me. And when I was doing the modelling, most boyfriends would have been proud, but... I was. I, I don't think we should be together anymore. No, no. I'll say that. What do you think? I love you. I love you like mad. Of course I think we should still be together. I need to make more of an effort, I get that. Let me try. Please, just give me one more chance. I know I've taken you for granted, but that stops now, I promise. Okay. Give ourselves a chance. Look, I'm gonna sleep on the sofa. No, you don't have to do that. It's, it's embarrassing. Everybody's gonna find out. So what, Chez? That stuff doesn't matter. This is what I'm saying. We can't just keep brushing it under the carpet. Well, I'll sleep on the sofa then. Just as long as you don't want to split up properly. I'm sorry, Chez. Really am. I can't believe we might split up over a plan. What? Right, firstly, I think you dismissed them season tickets too hastily. But wait, wait, wait. No, I'm in the middle of a gusset. I've got another idea, but this time you've got to promise me that you'll give it a go. Well, what is it? It's something we have to do together, cos you can't do it on your own. Is this a riddle? You ready? No. Ta da It's a tandem. I can see that. It's a bicycle made for two. Have we met? Give a reason. I think I knew all along. 
After New Year's Eve. What happened New Year's Eve? His heart wasn't in it. Is there something I don't know? No. So that's it? That's it. Wasn't the one after all. Are you okay? Yeah. I'll be fine when I get there. Kate's gonna meet me at the airport and we'll go for a drink. I'm so surprised. I thought it was okay. He was okay. Do you want me to speak to him when I get back? No. I've got a feeling he'll be on his way to Bristol. The mate of his said he can stay there for a while. In the back of my mind, I always knew he'd end up there. And he could be in Portugal with you. Right. I'll let you know when I get there, yeah? Be careful. Mm -hmm. I know... I know I never say this, but I do love you, you know that. Is it because it's not brand new? Because if you've seen the price of a brand new tandem, they cost a fortune. Is it because it's not brand new? Oh, yeah, Tim, I feel so let down because I didn't get a brand new tandem. Don't you know it's what every young girl dreams of, a brand new tandem? Well, I think you're being unreasonable. I think you are. But you just sit there like royalty expecting me to impress you. No wonder Kevin gave up. Kevin never gave up. Kevin ran off with his best friend's wife. Oh, I'm sick of hearing it. I bought a bike, right, because I thought it'd be a romantic thing to do. Where are you going? I'm there for a lie down. Steve's already lying down. Hey, well, maybe I'll lie down next to him. Oh, that's right. Go and curl up next to your boyfriend. Maybe you and him can go on the tandem. It's open! Hi. Oh, hi, Michelle. It's Stevie. Music over there. <laughs> you look good. People could watch you brushing your hair all day. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're brilliant. You're going to make a mint. I am not. And we sound naive. This is the future. People could kill to have what you've got. Why? What have I got? Charm. We should shoot wider next time. See more of that killer body. You know, just, just give us two minutes more, please. I'm afraid we'll have to call it a day. He's going to be here. I know it. Give it up, Todd. He's not coming. Well, why wouldn't he? Well, he's not going to get any tea tonight, that's for sure. You'd be amazed how often this happens. That's supposed to make you feel better. Just don't let your makeup run just yet. It... Is there anybody waiting? Because I mean, they'll be dead quick, these two. Really? Mum, the guy's a waste of space. You asked me earlier if you were doing the right thing, and I'm sorry. But you're not. But listen, this, this is a blessing. I mean, you've had a lucky escape. How? How? Oh, oh. <sighs> I'm so sorry, love. You wouldn't believe the traffic on that roundabout. Pat. Well... I didn't want to leave too early, and then I left it too late. And then I had to stop to use the lavvy on the way. It's hard, Billy. <sighs> We've still got time, though, eh? If we go fast. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go fast. But please don't rush it. This is the most important moment of my life. Mine too. Shall we begin? Yeah. What are you going to say? Nothing. Come on. I'm sorry. I understand. Do you? Kind of. It was mean of me, wasn't it? No, not no. Not at all. Well, a bit. But... <sighs> Look, I don't blame you. 
I mean, I've been here before. I'm not a veteran, aren't I? Oh, it seems everyone's been through this before except me, but I'm still struggling. Listen, we're both struggling. And we will be for a while. But the last thing we need to do is fall out, isn't it? Oh, you're right. You're right. Just come on when you're ready. Sit. Hey, whoa. <laughs> See, not only was that the best fun you've ever had, think about your reputation. How green is this? Well, it's environmentally friendly, I'll give you that. What made you change your mind? Michelle, come here, you. Did I do good? You did good. Will we do this again? We'll do this again. What about the football? Don't push your luck. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Thanks for coming. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. With England just having won the World Cup, football's first golden couple are thrust into the spotlight, but the price of fame soon starts to take its toll. On Tina and Bobby, next. <laughs> 